Hey, Mover and Gonky, this is Greg calling in from the San Francisco Bay Area. Anyway, uh, want to know the funniest thing and or the scariest thing that's happened to you, uh, either as an officer or as a pilot. And also want to point out that the U.S. Merchant Marine Academy is a four-year institution. Uh, they graduate uh, officers into all the, the service branches. And uh, I, I'm i a graduate, and two of my roommates are pilots with uh, airlines. They both went in the Navy. Okay. But I know they also send folks into the Air Force and to the Air National Guard. Anyway, take care. Yeah. Have a great day. Bye bye. Yeah, merchant marines are legit, man. Because you get you can get your uh, license. So if you want to talk about like a fallback plan, can you be like a, a riverboat job? captain? Yes, Dude, correct. those guys make a bank. Lots of money. I know. I did. Oh my god, whose dad was one. Sweet. But you have to be related. Jesus. Yeah, but you have to be yes. like in the family. Correct. It's not just anybody can go do it. Sweet mother of God. The amount of money that man had was yeah. ridiculous. Oh, I know. And I totally yeah, I know punted guy. that relationship away like a smart idiot. I, I know a guy that's got a Bell 407 that does that. Yeah, I believe you know, it. $2 million oh, wow. helicopter. Oh, wow. Dude, yeah. you know, Gunky, wow. it's like, it is money. Even even current world I'm living in today, it's money that I have never seen before or again in my life. Yeah. It's stupid. But hey, Good. so he asked a question, which I'm hoping one day somebody says, you know, First time caller, long time listener, isn't that oh, means no, we've everybody's arrived? Gonna, oh yeah, everybody's got to say that. <laughs> um, Gonky, your somebody. funniest, your funniest and scariest. We've talked about scary a lot, but what's the fu- <clears throat> what's the funniest? Well, hard to, tell. to be completely honest, I can't. I can't. Yeah, it's hard I to. Can't when tell. You get put on the spot like this. I can't, <laughs> I can't tell the funniest can't. story because. We get this is the wrong chant. Like <laughs> we get there. hold on, hold on. Yeah, no, no. For legal reasons, you can't. There's no banner. There's yeah, no banner. I mean, <laughs> is yours like a flying story, or is your like a port call story? Yeah, what, what do you what think? Are we about, well, I got a port call here. story that just, is pretty funny that I can that, tell, but well, let, I mean, he—that's what he asked. He's like, "What's the, as a naval uh, as an officer, right?" I think that's what he said. Sure, sure, sure. Let's just stick to flying. We like airplanes. Do you have a funny airplane story? I mean, that's, uh, I don't think it's funny. But, yeah, I mean, I, <clears throat> yeah. I mean, I've got a ton of them, dude. I mean, I, I don't know what. So the so my first, I don't know. This one's pretty funny, I guess. So my first uh, trip in the T forty five, um, and if they didn't have tape in my helmet, I could show you. But uh, basically, very first landing was on the uh, Lincoln, and Wombat, our buddy, our buddy from Vance, who went at Helos, was playing guard. I can't. Remember. I think it was. I think it was Paul that was out there. Man, so and, you were uh, like, I am not going here. to drink because I know his ability as a pilot. <laughs> That's not. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he is not going to be able to find me. Um, so <laughs> around the boat, you're all up one free tower right so cq i'm a student never landed on a ship before so i man i trap uh it's kind of a scary you know center ball and then i let it fall out the bottom wombat has seen it a thousand times i I crash into the ace i mean i'm scared to death i go straight to military power and if on the t45 it's a thumb switch for the for the com (laughs) and as i trap i come full forward and i key the mic and i I mean it's kind of like you're my whole body like i'm standing on the rudder pedals i'm tensed up i'm holding the mic and my 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 head flies forward and hits the ufc and just like a girl i just scream oh oh f and i come up and i do about Four super heavy breaths and then i kind of like i see my director and I'm like okay back in the game well i taxi up to the um the six pack there and all, all my buddies are like they're like dying but i'm thinking it's like yeah you know yeah no idea um so they i shut down <laughs> and i walked downstairs and the lso's are just dying they come up to me and they're just like oh shit oh. and i'm like <laughs> hand to my face and uh like like literally like the whole debt it was, didn't last long because the weather rolled in so like literally there was like six traps mine was you know one of them so 
and then we rode the boat back to port so the whole time it was like every and then i'd get to within cell phone reception and i get my buddy my buddy who was playing guard was like dude was that you screaming like a girl i was like i'm done so i don't know i've had a lot of funny stories but my first trap on the on the ship on a t-45 was pretty uh was i I definitely wasn't a tough guy (laughs) yeah that's That's funny it's not you're not the first nor last person to hot mic themselves trust me i heard (laughs) plenty on the lso platform and it's my day my favorite was a marine was hilarious it tops your story as far as dumb things you could say over hot mic (laughs) but yeah it's it's funny it's wombat what was your funny story so my marine story, or do you want no, my port your, story? Your my port. Are you going to get us canceled? Remember, we got kids. We got kids listening. Yeah, remember so, there are uh, children watching it. This well, hour. it goes to call signs, and I think call signs are an important part of the military. And this guy earned his call sign this night because um, he was a little bit of an oddball in my E two squadron, and uh, I felt bad for him. Like he just didn't didn't fit in. He wasn't your your stereotypical. Um, naval aviator if you catch my drift and and when we first met it was um in point magoo and i had on a harley davidson shirt you know because i had the remember the fat boy that i got after in kingsville right so um so he was like oh you got a harley i'm like i i got a harley i'm like oh sweet man um that's that's awesome we should go ride you know i was just just new guy in squadron right i was like what do you got he's like sportster i was like okay well we could still we could still go ride, you know, that, that'd be cool. And, and I, and I go, yeah, it's really nice around here, you know, PCH. And and he's like, Oh, well, it's not with me. My, my mom's holding on to it. And I was like, and I kind of thought that was odd, you know, I was like, well, they just moved maybe. Well, fast forward, we're on deployment. I still kind of feel bad for the guy. He's single. So we're trying to, we're out. I think we were in Hong Kong and we were trying to just, you know, there's expats there. There's all sorts of people when you go out. Right. You remember? So like, we're trying to, you know, hook him up a little bit and help him out, you know? And at the time, all of us were married. So like, what else are you going to do? Right. So we're just, we're just egging this guy on, you know, and there was this girl who was really into him. And, and I was like, dude, whatever you do, do not dance, whatever you do. Like, just, if she wants to dance, don't dance. Like, just stay cool. Be cool. I'm like, just be cool, dude. Like it, she just seems like a really nice girl. Well, anyway, he, goes and starts dancing and did pretty good. But then he started air guitaring to a Bon Jovi song. And then she left very quickly after that. And um, so we go back to the admin, like he had gotten back before me. The admin is the giant room that all the officers stay in together. If people don't know And And uh, I'm just going to go to sleep. And I walk into one of the bedrooms and I don't realize he's in there and he's on the phone. And like, I don't want to interrupt. So like, I'm trying to back out of the room, but before I back out of the room, it's super dark. I can hear him talking like, yeah, I just, I just miss hanging out with you. And, um, and just, you know, our times like on the beach and just being together. And I'm like, holy crap, this guy's got a girlfriend. I don't even know. I'm trying to hook him up. Like now I feel bad. So I'm really trying to back out of this room. Right. And, um, he's like, I miss our talks and I bump into the dresser as I'm, backing out so he hears me and he's like he like sits up in bed and he sees who i am and he's like wombat he's like hey man how you doing and he realizes on the phone he's like do you want to talk to my mom and i was just like <laughs> oh. <laughs> so like that story di- this is my integrity because i don't want to that story dies with me because i'm the only person in that room it's dead i will never bring it up again but you remember the tradition in the navy right you get back off port call Everybody talks about their stories. Call signs get made, right? (laughs) Some squadrons had awards for the dumbest thing you did. I'm just sitting there in the ready room, hanging out while guys are doing this. And and one of our mutual friends is like, anybody else have any any people to nominate for this award? We had like this little Buddha Jake that you would give to the dumbest thing that happened in port. And this dude looks at me and he goes, I got a story about Wombat. And I'm like, okay. And he talked about how I was like, half dancing on like the street corner waiting for the cab to come pick us up and everybody erupts because i would never do anything out of part right and i'll never forget it like he sits down they're like wombat's getting it because they always wanted to give me this boot of jake and i looked at him and i was like i have a story and you could see like his drunk brain <laughs> registered like and caught up to where he was and he's like 
oh no and he's like i want to take my story back i'm like it's too late bro and i went up there and told the long version of what i've just told the world and that dude's call sign stuck from that point on period and he was <laughs> going to be holding on to that booty jake so that's the fun part of what happens oh dude i miss poor calls yeah. man there's i got I stories like that too <laughs> yeah it's, that was a tame one but that was the the light version but dude it's the things that you do when you're stuck on a ship for long periods of time and then they oh, release God. you. It's like getting out of prison. <laughs> yeah. 